Hey guys, Carrie here. Hey, I'm going to talk to you guys. This is going to be one of the harder videos for me to film because this is probably the worst one for me. This is the face deformation in depth. Um, okay, just to get started here on this, um, the function of your teeth, one of the functions is to um, be a divider between your tongue and the skin that holds up your face. Okay? Um, when you have extraction orthodontics and everything is sunk inward. I've showed you and maybe if you haven't seen my other video on sleep apnea or or the one on uh, closing airway, watch one of them before you watch this one because you'll better understand. Um, the function of your teeth is to kind of sit in between your, your resting place for your tongue and to hold up the skin on the sides of your cheeks. Okay, when you remove teeth and pull everything backwards, and create these huge gaps that now need to be closed, um, you're not going to have that support on this side either. Just a real brief review on the inside. You guys can catch this on my other video though. See how my tongue doesn't fit in a natural position? Um, that means everything is pushed backwards and inwards. That means the skin is not holding in the natural position either. Um, I'm going to show you where my wisdom tooth sits, and I'm going to show you how the arch has been completely collapsed. Okay. That tooth is out here at this angle here. Okay, everything else has collapsed in considerably. Okay, if it was all at this width, my face would appear fuller and I wouldn't have these age lines right here. Everything would lift just slightly, even a slight lift. Look at the years that come off. See the wrinkling starting around my mouth? That's because everything is not full. It's not being supported nor held up. Um, a lot of people have emailed me and said, you know, I had teeth pulled, I just, I still have the braces on, I don't see any changes in my face. Well, of course not, because every, you still have the gaps. Everything has to be collapsed in. And when you hear the word power chain after power chain after power chain, then you're going to see the sinking in. Now, you guys all know how beautiful Angelina Jolie and um, Jennifer Aniston look, right? Well, one thing, they have a defined jawline. They don't have this kind of look going on here because their jaw got pulled back so far. See, it's really hard to avoid the double chin syndrome for me. At 110 pounds, I shouldn't have to be going through this, but um, see where my jaw sits now that everything's been crushed backwards? You can see the other side effects of this in my TMJ video or one of them, but um, this is where it's supposed to be. See how the jaw starts in front of my ear as the human skeleton was designed to? But since they pushed everything back and out of place, it now starts back here. Okay, so I don't really have a jawline. And if you watch the, um, the first video in my favorites on headgear and reverse pull, you'll see as soon as they take the teeth out and they fall backwards that you will get this double chin turkey waddle type appearance and hook nose and everything else. I don't think I have the hook nose horribly. Thank God for one thing. Okay, I wanted to show you on a still format here too how bad the face deformation is so I'm pulling out my passport that the US government just sent me back uh, I'm going to show you 10 years ago and last month and you guys can see I even have a bikini picture that I'm not overweight if you want to check out my um, my nice and flush video I'm actually in a bikini in the end so you can see how overweight I am and you're going to see how bad I look in the still picture because if you look at a still of me I don't look very good okay alright okay this is ten years ago okay now notice under my eyes see how you can start to see things are starting to fall okay that's the first step and it even looked like that when I had the braces on so you, you can see that right away not to mention I look tired in this picture but I just want you to see that my eyes underneath, you can see there's excess skin starting to form there. And I, I can see that right away. Okay. Flash forward 10 years. Okay. See how the excess skin has started to, like, 
tamper down as I've aged terribly. See how that's even attempting to smile. See, I have so much skin that needs to now be picked up. Um, see, look, look, look around, look around the cheeks. If I if I did a full smile, I look even more ancient because there's so much extra skin. Because I showed you the ideal position for your teeth is to support is to support the skin and to give your tongue a resting place. I don't have a resting place. It's taken up and everything's crashed in, so my skin's not holding in full. Okay. All right, back to the wisdom teeth, okay? See the width there? See the direction? Look at the sink in here, okay? Look at the excess skin. See how my face is not full? See how if I try to smile, I have holes on the side of my face like this? See, that's what happens over time. That's why face deformation is almost inevitable when you take four premolars out and crutch your arch in. I mean, it's just inevitable that you're not going to look as good. Now, if you need any more proof, I, I would be glad to share with you more photos. But the thing is, I, I hope that this video at least helps somebody not go through this procedure. Okay, guys, thanks for following. Hope you have a great night, and feel free to email me any questions. Bye.